There's like two cars being tested right now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Are you all having a good time here in Los Angeles? Yeah. Very nice. Great enthusiasm today. Let's hear it again. You all having a good time in Los Angeles? Yeah. Very good. No, I like that. Thank you. It is great to be here today in the Los Angeles uh, car show. This is, of course, not the first one. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is a very special uh, time this year because it is the 100th uh, Los Angeles Auto Show. So for 100 years, we've had these car shows here. And of course, uh, it is the premier, one of the premier car shows in the world. It's getting bigger every year. And I have been a uh, part of this show since uh, 1968, since I've come to this country and enjoyed the growth of this car show every year. And uh, this year, as a matter of fact, it's getting really big. It says, uh, uh, I think, uh, over a thousand cars that are displayed here, 47 different manufacturers. There will be uh, over a million people coming uh, through this car show. And uh, I'm, of course, here today, uh, not only because I enjoy the great revenues as the governor of the great state of California. When there are millions of people coming through here, that means revenues for the state is exactly what we need. But we are actually here uh, for a very important reason, for another reason, and that is uh, we want to put the spotlight on alternative fuel vehicles. As you all know that California has taken the leadership role in fighting uh, global warming and cleaning our environment. And we have worked very hard to pass laws in the last few years to make sure that we are uh, fighting uh, global warming and do everything to clean our environment, if it is uh, the Ocean Action Plan, if it is building hydrogen fueling stations up and down our state, if it is the Million Solar Roof Initiative, the Green Building Initiative, or just uh, recently passing AB 32, which means that we made a commitment as a state to roll back the greenhouse gas emissions to the 1990 level. All of those kind of things that you're committed to do, but of course, uh, every industry has to participate in this in order to keep our environment clean or to clean our environment and to keep our future generations protected. And this is why we also challenge the car manufacturers to come in and to do their part. And so the cars uh, of the future, uh, the, the, the cars that are clean will be the cars of the future of the automobile industry and those of the future of California because we have taken a lead in environmental protection and promoting alternative fuels. And we have called on everyone in the in car industry to uh, be part of this environmental revolution. We challenge the car companies to be innovative, to think outside the box, to think beyond gasoline, and to deliver cleaner and more efficient uh, cars. And so today, I want to say thank you to the car manufacturers that are here today. Thank you for uh, the, this groundbreaking uh, new cars that we are displaying here. There's actually 18 cars that are displayed at this car show. As a matter of fact, there's five of them right behind me here uh, that we are highlighting. These are cars from Honda FCX, which uh, converts natural gas to hydrogen. Then we have BMW, the Hydrogen 7 Series, uh, which runs on hydrogen or gasoline. We have the Tesla a Roadster, an electric car that gets 250 miles per charge. Then we have the Chevy E85 Tahoe, a flex fuel car that runs on ethanol and gasoline mix. Then we have the Mercedes-Benz E320 Blue Tech, that is a diesel uh, a car that uh, has 20% lower emissions than gasoline. And the list goes on and on. And so these are really fantastic vehicles, the, the vehicles of the future. And I just wanted to say that uh, when we challenge the car manufacturers or other industries, uh, what happened, the first reaction and some of them was, well, we can't do it. We can't make this happen. It would take 10 or 20 years. Others said, we're going to sue you. All kinds of different reactions we got. I just want to ask every one of those people, get on board, get on the train. The train has left, and we are moving forward. That is the important thing, because we, got, we, have, we all have the responsibility to protect our environment, to do our share. So I think that this is really remarkable, all those cars that we have here. And I want to thank the CEOs and the designers and the workers that work on those cars and everyone that had the vision and the confidence to make those cars become a reality. And with the help of those car manufacturers, we will make California the leader in alternative energy and in clean burning cars. I know that by working together, we can protect our state, we can protect our, the future generations.